Today, we're discussing the surprisingly close Fury versus Ngano fight. I'm gonna give you the major reasons why Ngano almost pulled off the upset. Okay, so the number one reason why Ngano almost pulled off the upset was his, his footwork. His footwork was surprisingly good. Ngano was able to slip and slide on and off the line. So if you ever watched any of my videos, you know that my philosophy on boxing is, boxing is the manipulation of distance and timing to control the line. So what do I mean by controlling the line? If you're on a line, you're close enough to punch. If you're on a line, you should be punching. The fighter who controls the line controls the engagements. They generally control when and where the fight will take place. And Gano was able to get on a line when he was when he was ready to make his attacks, and he was able to slide off the line on defense. I was really surprised just how well Francis and Gano's boxing footwork was. I really thought that Fury was going to dominate this fight because I, I didn't believe that Ngano had the footwork to compete against Fury. When you are on the line, you are punching. When you are on the line, you're able to hit your opponent. However, if you can hit your opponent, your opponent can hit you. So whoever can control the line controls the engagements. If I want to hit my opponent, I need to close the gap to get on the line where I'll be close enough to strike my opponent. If I don't want to be hit and my opponent wants to hit me, my opponent needs to get on my line. So if I don't want to be hit, I have to be able to slide off the line. There's three types of defense. There's footwork, there's blocking, and there's head movement. The most basic defense that you will see in boxing is, is footwork. So what does that mean? In order to get hit, my opponent must be close enough to hit me. So once my opponent steps in, I could just simply step back, step off the line. This is where I thought Ngano was going to be at a huge disadvantage. I didn't believe that he was going to be able to slip on and off the line. Ngano was able to slip on the line to make his attacks. He was also able to slip off the line to avoid Fury's attacks or slip off the line to defend himself. It, it really surprised me how effective he was in his movement and in his footwork. And I believe Fury was definitely surprised by this. The key to this fight was Ngano's impressive boxing footwork. I'm not saying he was Floyd Mayweather or, or Terrence Crawford, but his footwork was adequate enough to compete in this fight. Ngano was able to maneuver around the ring, no problem. These reasons are not in any particular order, but Ngano's footwork was a big reason why he almost pulled off the massive upset.